will start. It'll take you about two hours, I think. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. No, I just say, not just say thank you to Louise, Baddy Cream, and Naomi from coming from Canada, which is a long way to come for a wedding. Mm, yeah. And we do appreciate the trouble they put in to come back for this wedding because they've not long gone back to Canada. So it is much appreciated that they've come across for these few days before they're back again. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> And then also we got Ivy, who's come down from Newcastle. Yeah. Yeah. Ivy, it's very good of you to come down, because I know that you've come down looking for another gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> now we do appreciate you coming down, because the people up north, we're not sure about them. <laughs> no, it's just very good of you to come down. And then you've got Kelly's friends, We've travelled down from uni, which is very good of them. So I do appreciate them coming down for Kelly because I know she appreciated when she was there with her friends there at uni. She had a great time. So I'm afraid she can't go back to that time. Yeah. <laughs> and also we've got um, Matt's mum and dad. <laughs> and uh, Sam and his aunties and that have come across from the Isle of Wight. It took us a long time to get them through customs, but we got them there again. <laughs> it's a funny place over the Isle of Wight, you know that, don't you? <laughs> but we do appreciate them coming across, and now we'd like to welcome them to our family and us to their family, which is nice, so we're all in one now, which is really good. And the, the, the bridesmaids, the bridesman, because now he likes to call himself a man. <laughs> we really appreciate it. they look beautiful. The wedding was really good. And it was nice of everybody to turn up. So what I'd like to say is now thank you to everybody. And I will pass this over now to Matt. Thank you very much. For the Thank you, first of all, that was a fantastic speech. Um, I just want to first mention about how I met Kelly. Um, when I first met Kelly, I'd love to pretend it was some kind of romantic story and it was love at first sight, um, but for, for Kelly it certainly wasn't. Uh, I, uh, I met her whilst I was at the hotel and decided to pluck up the courage to ask her on a date. And uh, instead of uh, saying yes, she set me up with one of her friends on a date instead. So. It, to start with, I wasn't sure how, how far we were destined to be, but um, I worked with my charm, and well, it's partly charm, and wore her down, and eventually she went on my first date, and uh, ever since that first date, I knew that Kelly was a girl for me. I want to like, start now on a few thank yous. First of all, to my in-laws, to uh, Alan and Chris, who, uh, who have really, uh, to thank them, first of all, to allow me to uh, marry Kelly and uh, to thank them for being very supportive and, and arranging the wedding with us as well so it's um, helping such a fantastic day i'd also like to thank kelly's brother jason who's been fantastic he's a great guy as well and he's always been uh, very good at supporting me and, and made me feel one of the family from day one so thank you for that as well <laughs> next i'd like to thank my fantastic family um, i'm fortunate enough to have amazing parents and um, who have been very supportive and caring to me. Um, they've also been amazing with Kelly as well. Um, from day one, they, they absolutely loved her, and um, they knew that I was punching above my weight from the day I met her, so they made sense to make sure you hold on to her, and I know that they love her as much as I do as well. I'd also like to thank the bridesmaids, um, who all look fantastic today. And before I kind of go into the next little bit of dribble about Kelly and how much I learned, I'd uh, like to give the girls um, a present to say thank you for today. So if we can get up um, Scarlett and uh, Karina and Sarah, we've got a little present for each of you first of all. Thank you. Thank you.
lastly, I just wanted to mention um, how fantastic Kelly looked, and I'm massively proud and very fortunate to be marrying her. Um, me and Kelly have been together for over 13 years, so you can clearly tell she's got a lot of patience. Um, Keep going. And she's got a lot of fantastic qualities, including being caring, funny, and a fantastic mum too. But most of all, Kelly's beautiful on the outside and the inside. I'm sorry about that, it's really cheesy, but I had to as well. <laughs> Um, finally, I'd just like to say thank you to her for giving me my fantastic son, um, Ethan, who you can see there, who fortunately for him has got his mum good looks and not his dad. Uh, it turned out to be a fantastic little baby. Um, so I'd like to thank her. Lastly, before I pass you over to my, um, my best friend and uh, my best man, Glenn, um, the only slight drawback with Glenn is he lives in a bit of a parallel universe, so <laughs> anything he tells you today um, is probably made up and um, <laughs> I appreciate if you can kind of go along with his stories and, and make and just laugh when, he, when you're meant to because I know that it's going to be all made up so um, but if you can join in and uh, make sure you clap and, and laugh in the right places. Um, the final thing I just wanted to do is if we could have the flowers for the, for the mums as well. Yeah. So now I'd just like to pass on to my best man, my best friend, Glenn. We all doing all right? We're good? We're all good, mate. We're all good. All right. Okay, bear with me. There's a few gifts that need to come out here as well. Ladies? <laughs> yeah, please. They're coming. They're coming, are they? Yeah, you can bring them out. We go one by one. Strippers in the daytime? <laughs> We've got to make up the bar. All right. I'll get to that. <laughs> um, firstly, I'd just like to thank everyone for coming as well. And I appreciate it. Um, it's been an absolutely fantastic day. Uh, it's been wonderful, it really has. Um, and I never thought I'd say this. Kelly, you're absolutely stunning. You look marvellous. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I don't look it like that. I was going marry you myself. <laughs> but Al, she obviously hasn't got your looks, and she's got Chris's. <laughs> and Chris, I'll be on a dance floor later. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, so, Matt, you mentioned the punching above your weight which is probably fairly true, and I think 90% of this room will agree with that. <laughs> so, good luck, keep holding on. Maybe 99. Um, before I go any further, I'd just like to raise a glass for little Ethan, because um, I've had the pleasure of spending the morning with him, and he's absolutely superb, six months old, beautiful little baby. So if you'd like to raise a glass for Ethan, please. <laughs> okay. And it gives me time to get my breath as well. Right. Okay, so we move on to the stag do, the customary stag do. We arrived in Bath, we got the train in from 12 o'clock, and uh, we mentioned that we met a Hindu at about 12 o'clock. We've been drinking since 9 o'clock, Jaeger bombs, red wine, the lot. We had nothing. Al stepped up, ordered a couple of Stellas. We all know like a Stella he likes. So, Al, I've got your Stella, mate. If you'd like to come and take this for me. So, we had our first dream. We got a taxi up to the uh, races where we went. Um, like all good men, we kind of interrogated the old taxi man for a little bit of yokel knowledge to see what was going on. So, of course, Pete was asking where the strip clubs were, where the casinos were. <laughs> To our disappointment, there was no strip clubs whatsoever, no casinos in Bath. And we was wondering why Kelly was happy for us to go to Bath. <laughs> no idea. So, anyway, we arrived at the, the race course, the first bet. We still haven't heard a word from Pete until the first bet went in. And, of course, he rocked up, £200 first race. Instead of saying, yee all we heard was, don't tell the wife, don't tell the wife. <laughs> so, in that instance, I'll become Pete. Little gift for you, mate. I'll let you hang it up and you can show people. There you go, buddy. 
<laughs> Show us then, Pete. Show us. Show it on. Show the cameras. <laughs> Matt, you might have to remember that terms as well. Don't tell me what that is. Put that in the book. So anyway, we was all there smashing bets in, apart from one person, Big Dan, the man at the back there. Apart from him, he just had food in his hand, burger in each. So if you see Dan later on near the buffet, stay out his way because he will rip that apart. <laughs> right, okay. <coughs> Bear with me, sorry. So anyway, we moved into the evening and the drinks were flowing. And of course, one in particular drink was flowing. Isn't that right, Sambo? <laughs> You've probably heard the rumours already. That was vodka. So, Sam's drink later is vodka. And I'll give you a reason why the vodka was flowing later on, and there's even pictures out the front. In fact, you know what? I'll leave them at the front there for people to fill their boots and <laughs> get an insight into what happened in Bath. <laughs> um, well, most of us were actually drinking the vodka, apart from one person. He was too busy splashing it around on him.